guys welcome back to another cozy at home vlog i hope you're all doing it really well today and i just wanted to bring you along for some declutter motivation today cleaning and just general cozy at home day so i really hope that you enjoy today's video i think all of my vlogs are going to start with cleaning motivation because i can't tidy up at night I used to be in the habit of doing it before bed and i mean it didn't last very long let's face it but yeah so everything gets done in the morning and it's just weird because I can't get anything done unless my house is tidy and clean and I can't, I don't have the energy to tidy and clean it at night. So every morning it looks the same here. I'm always trying to pick up what I didn't pick up the night before. But once I get that done, I really want to declutter my wardrobe because I've gone back into wanting to buy clothes again i guess for years i haven't really cared about what i look like really i would just wear whatever and it didn't really bother me like it didn't it wasn't anything i was interested in like fashion um but since doing that primark haul the other day i am now obsessed with new clothes and i want to buy them every single day so i need to redo my wardrobe because there's like a bulk of it that i don't wear so i may as well donate it and make room for the new stuff because i feel like my taste my style is changing and yeah i want to be very neutral i just i don't i think it's quite funny because obviously you guys know that i love neutral home decor and i think that's slowly going into other aspects of my life because i now only want to wear neutral things as well so this is a new fun little journey for me to go on thinking i'm just gonna get rid of everything that you know i don't wear anymore i won't reach for and just make room for some new stuff obviously i'm not going to be buying a whole new wardrobe in one shop like in one go it's going to be something that i build up gradually and yeah i want to try and buy more with purpose rather than just oh i like that let me buy it if that makes sense obviously you should buy what you like but i don't know a lot of it i think looks cute on the hanger and then i don't really think about what it looked like on me and then i get it home and i don't like it and it goes in the wardrobe and it stays there so i really need to try and be a little bit more you know in tune with what i actually want to wear not just what looks good because i know that i can really like someone else's fashion sense and i think they look really good in something but it just would not suit me so i need to try and not get a load of different styles just stick to my style if that makes sense so that's what i'm going to be trying to do um but yeah i just wanted to have a nice cozy day at home cleaning organizing and just chilling out with you guys probably gonna take maxi boy on a walk later to calm him down a little bit luckily he's actually sleeping at the minute which is rare nowadays so this is nice i can get this intro done and just chat with you while he's asleep so yeah might take him out later depending on how hectic and crazy he is so i'll bring you guys along with me for that and yeah we can just see what the day brings i don't really have too much planned other than like organizing and yeah just getting stuff done because i know that my spring cleaning this year is going to look so different to all the other years because normally i will try and just like bang it out in a week i will try and deep clean my whole house top to bottom and just get it all done super quick and yeah just deep clean everything and i know that i am not doing that this year i think i'm definitely going to be deep cleaning my house obviously that is what i do i like to clean and i like to have a nice clean house and lately having max nothing has really been getting done so i definitely need to do that but i'm going to be pacing myself i'm definitely not going to be banging it out in a week and getting it done and I'm just going to try and focus on areas that I really want to do to begin with, like the decluttering. I've started off in the kitchen. Now I'm moving on to the bedroom because I really, really want to get that wardrobe sorted out because I just hate opening it. It's just an absolute mess. Do the areas that really bother me and then we can come back and do other areas on different days. And instead of feeling like I've only got a week to just bang it out and get it all done, I've got months. Like 
like this doesn't have to happen in a day anyway I i'm in love with this mug i don't even know if i've already shown you this mug but it's got a picture of a cockapoo on which obviously i'm in love with and then it's just got woof day written on the front and i think it's so cute i picked it up from b m and look how cute it is i am a sucker for a good mug it makes me feel cozy and different mugs actually give me different feelings i don't know if it's just me but like some i just want to sit down and enjoy a nice hot drink whilst you know watching my favorite program or a film or whatever and then other ones make me feel really motivated and i want to just get up and slay the day and yeah i get different feelings from different mugs so let me know down in the comments if you get feelings for mugs or if I'm just a complete weirdo but yeah I don't have anything huge planned today it is more decluttering organizing taking the pup out and just enjoying the day so I really hope that you enjoy hanging out with me today so if you do enjoy this type of chilled out day in the life kind of vlog let me know down in the comments don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new here because I would love to have you please do stick around so you don't miss any of my future uploads leave today's a thumbs up and let's just jump straight into it wanna be free of this heart yeah wanna feel your arms around me you more, meet you here, more than I would like to admit, let's forget about tomorrow, yeah, should I hide away forever, should I close my eyes and never again, hold you tight, call you mine, think about you every time, I remember that it's over. Yeah. You never break, you never lie You never ever scared of the dark So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind Think about you a lot It's almost like I can't stop Can't stop, yeah, yeah You never lose and all you know so oh, Stuff smells so good So this is the Fabulosa lemon and lavender and oh, it's amazing. I think it's my new favourite. Okay, so this is just everything he accumulates during the day and I have to take out of his mouth. So I don't know why we always collect it and put it on the telly, but we do. So I've been trying hard to pretend that I'm okay. It's just a phase and everything is going just great. I think about you a lot. It's almost like I can't stop. Can't stop. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like I can't stop. Yeah. Okay, so it is a little bit later now. I'm just going to stop for lunch. I can't believe I haven't even got around to starting the wardrobe yet. That was the main thing I wanted to do today. And I'm just not putting it off, but I have kind of lost motivation. And now it's got dark and that's the problem. Filming in the UK in winter, it's dark at one o'clock and I hate it. But um, yeah, I thought I would get some lunch. And I really, I hate what my hair is doing at the minute. I thought I would curl it. Let me get some better lighting if I put you over here. But yeah, I thought I'll curl my hair today, make a bit of an effort and I forgot that I play with my hair too much and it just falls out and gets ruined within the first hour. But 
yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and do some lunch i'm actually just having a micro meal because it's so much easier and i hate cooking i don't know if you know that but i absolutely hate cooking so for lunch i normally just have some sort of micro meal and today i'm having the tesco's spaghetti bolognese i love spag bowl you can't go wrong with it really so i'm gonna go ahead stick this in hopefully it's light enough to then do the wardrobe don't think i'm going to be taking maxi boy for a walk until this evening because it is now chucking down with rain so neither of us would enjoy that so i'm gonna wait until rob's back later this evening and hopefully fingers crossed it's not raining and we can get him for a walk but yeah thought i would just get some lunch and crack on upstairs now the downstairs is like nice and tidy because the worst thing for me is tidying upstairs especially if i'm like doing bathrooms or something not doing that today but because i'm going to be in the bedroom all day worst thing is spending so much time upstairs tidying decluttering organizing that sort of thing and then coming downstairs to a messy house like i hate it with a passion so i've always got to make sure that downstairs is tidy if i'm going to be spending hours upstairs um but yeah i'm just gonna have some lunch wait about half an hour and hopefully the clouds pass and i can film upstairs <laughs> this is what i'm working with and as you can see it's just a big hot mess especially along the top there so i need to just pull it all down i know that rob's bits up there are all just going to stay so i don't know how much is actually going to be decluttered from the top but it definitely needs organizing and then again i'm going to leave rob's side alone because i know that he's just going to want all of his stuff but I want to try and organize my side because there's just there's tops in here that i really like but i know that i wouldn't wear and every time i do a declutter i never get rid of it because i like it but then there's no point keeping it if i'm not gonna wear it so yeah i need to be a little bit more just i need to purge more i need to just get rid of it even if it looks nice give it to someone else who can actually get the use out of it because yeah it's pointless it being in here and then obviously i need to go in and do the bottom as well as you can see max is already in there helping me out so i need to just pull everything out i think i am going to start with the top and just try and neaten it up a little bit and then focus on little bits rather than pull out the whole thing because i remember the last time i did the wardrobe and it was so overwhelming i regretted it instantly i just kind of pulled everything out in one go had it all over the room and it was just a minefield honestly i hated it so i'm gonna go in and just do a little bits because then if i don't get it all done today the room still isn't a mess like i can pick it up tomorrow hopefully fingers crossed we can get it all done today though so i'm gonna try and start with the top then do the bottom and then purge some of my clothes because I'm just really excited for that part because that just means more shopping. If I get rid of loads of stuff, I can then bring in some new stuff. So let's just, first of all, empty the top and see how we get on. Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows. This is a mistake. I know about tomorrow I don't want to fight no more Cause I don't feel the need no more, no Just want to make it stop Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I Wish you the best to say goodbye You start to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt But not as much as the 
this is where we are currently at and even though i was like oh yeah i don't want to pull everything out i'd get totally overwhelmed i'm already overwhelmed but this is going to be the pile that i'm going to be donating and then that is everything i'm going to be keeping i think and this is just rob's bits that i need to put away but as you can see i'm going to be keeping all of that stuff there where it is because it's already organized from the last time i did it so all that can stay rob's side is looking a little bit worse for wear but he can sort his side out if he wants to declutter it at all but i'm definitely not going to be touching because i will just get rid of so much stuff and he would honestly kill me so i'm not going to be touching his side at all and i'm just going to be focusing on this side so as you can see the bottom is nice and clear as well so i've got the winter boots that i'm going to keep and i came across these gorgeous sandals that i actually totally forgot i had i must have bought them last year or maybe even the year before but because i don't think they've been worn yet look how pretty these are and i think these are perfect considering green is now the color of 2022 and then i've got these ones as well which are really really pretty and i think they're gonna look so pretty with the white jeans so really happy with those and then these little like uggs that i got from primark were actually gonna be going in the donation pile but i made the mistake of trying them on with these new white jeans and I fell in love with them so they can go back in the wardrobe as well but now i can just sort of go through my main clothes here and see what i want to keep and what i want to get rid of and then hang this up but i also want to go through this drawer here because as you can see it won't even close anymore but um yeah it's just an absolute hot mess so i want to go through it see what i can donate see what i'm gonna keep and then i'm also gonna see if i can hello um like hang them up differently and put them in the wardrobe as well and just try and save some space over here so let me crack on and see how much i can actually purge That's the pile that I'm going to be donating and then I think that's the pile that I'm going to be keeping. I mean, look at all these hangers that I've made free. Like, I am actually really proud of myself. Except for this, I really don't know what to do. He's already making himself comfy on it, but I don't know what to do with this faux fur coat that I got from New Look. I've had it for years now and I've not worn it for years. I think I might have worn it once. But for some reason, I I don't know whether to keep it or get rid of it. So please let me know down in the comments if that should just be something that I keep in the wardrobe just in case I want it. Or if I should just donate it. Let me know because I'm so indecisive. But this is what it is currently looking like. So I've got a bit of space there. And I didn't realise how like pushed in together it was. Because I got rid of so much stuff. And it's still looking very, very full. But as you can tell, I've got rid of all of the colour or pretty much all of the colour. I've kept a few colourful bits that like my just in case, like I don't want to regret anything. So I've kept a few colourful bits. And I'm just going to keep those at the back and then try and get everything else looking very neutral. But yeah, I'm actually very proud of how much stuff I've got rid of. So... I'm just going to go ahead and bag all of this up because, I mean, a lot of it, I think, just doesn't fit me anymore. Like these um, play suits and, again, it's just very colourful, not really my style, doesn't fit me. This doesn't fit me anymore. And I knew that this didn't fit me last summer and I just kept it because you never know. <laughs> I was just like, you never know if you're going to want it, so you may as well keep it. But, yeah, I don't want it, so I'm just going to bag everything up and we can go and take it tonight and then I can figure out 
what I'm going to do with these bits because it's sort of like a mix of summer and winter. I've got a bikini and like some leg warmers. So this is just a pile of sort of bits and bobs, a couple of tops that need hanging up. But other than that, I think they can go because these don't fit me anymore. I don't think. No, they're a size eight. They don't fit me anymore. I actually thought I would have a lot more room in the wardrobe for some of this, but I don't think I'm going to looking at this. I'm not sure. So, oh, I don't know. I might fit in a few. I don't know. I might see how it looks and see how we get on. But yeah, this is how it is so far. I always do this, but whenever it comes to actually bagging things up, I second guess everything. And I think I might actually keep this bag because... <laughs> I decided to keep another top as well. I'm at, this is my problem. This is what happens. I just end up keeping everything. But I kept this bright yellow crop because I thought it would go really nicely with my new white jeans. <laughs> Honestly, I'm obsessed with these jeans and I'm just keeping everything that might go with them. And I thought it would be a really nice summery outfit. So I'm going to keep that as well. And I think I will eventually get rid of them when I replace them. Like when I get a white bag and a white crop top that's when it can go but the few bits over there I just need to bag up because it's seasonal not really sure what to do with that pile yet but that's all winter stuff and as we go into spring we're not going to need them that's just um Max's blanket pair of trousers that I need to get my mum to turn up because I am no good at sewing and they are way too long for me so my mum always turns up my trousers for me and then this is just like a letter board Oh, that's so cute. Coming home soon, Max. <laughs> so now you know the last time I did this has been a while because he has been with us now for about two months. But yeah, so this is the bag. Well, one of the bags that I'm going to donate. I also went through my drawer and this is everything that I'm going to be getting rid of out of there. But this is so much better. Are you ready? Ta -da! <laughs> I love this now. I've decided to just keep shorts and leggings in here because it's what i mainly wear throughout spring and summer so this is just all of my shorts and a few leggings at the back and i actually really like how it turned out in here with the trousers so if i move everything back so you can see it properly i think that looks really cute like that so I've only got a few pairs of jeans. I don't really wear jeans that often. I actually wear joggers more than I wear jeans. But I've got my work trousers hung up, my jeans and my joggers. And I think that's really cute. But I'm actually thinking, once I organise this bit up here, I might get like a tension rod to go all the way across. So I've got some more hanging space because I don't know. I don't know how else to do it. We've just got so much so much so much going on and it's not all gonna fit and i would love to be able to have all of my tops hung up there and then all of my trousers or something like that i'm not really sure but if you have any random ideas on how i can reorganize this very small wardrobe i would love to know because yeah i really like the look of the trousers hanging up there and they do get really really creased whenever i put them in the drawer so i do want to keep them hung up but i just need to try and figure out a way of being able to do that unless i can put like another one maybe on the bottom of it might make more sense because i won't even be able to reach them up there hello hello <laughs> Um, so yeah, maybe along the bottom, let me know in the comments what you would do and how you'd sort of fix this tiny wardrobe problem. <laughs> but yeah, really happy with how it turned out. I'm just going to grab a bag to bag those up and take that. And yeah, I just love this though. But it's another job ticked off of my to-do list. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. So I really hope that you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you did. And also consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my future videos. And I will see you guys back here in the next one.